Hello and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're ready for some cruising fun on a two owner 2001 Sea Ray 280 Sundancer. Fun size, easy to handle if you're taking out on your own. It's powered by Merc Cruisers 4.3 liter stern drive motors with the SC116 drives. Nice stainless steel props on the back. Onboard generator by Kohler, so when you're not at the dock, you still got all systems operational. Nice amount of seating on deck and comfortable cabin space inside. Gel coat looks good overall. It is kept high and dry with a cockpit cover on. Anchor windlass up at the bow makes tending the anchor very easy. Let's go ahead and hop up on deck, take a look inside. All right, up on the swim platform, get a great view of the cockpit area. Lots of seating options. You got storage in the transom. Nice hot and cold fresh water shower here. Safety with the transom door, but then it gives you easy access to the swim platform. Rear transom bench seat. Upholstery looks good. There is a little discoloration on the backrest of this. Everything is original though. Breaker switches and battery switches as well as your master ignition behind this panel. Clarion speakers for your stereo system. This rear facing back rest seat slides out. Turns into a nice day or night bed for lounging. And then an L-shaped lounger along the port side. And you can also see our ventilation window for the mid cabin. All this upholstery looks nice. Some beverage holders up top. Just behind the captain's bench, we've got some storage underneath. Grab handles right where you need them. Some more beverage holders. And then cooler space as well as sink space. And then that's also got a pull out sprayer on it. This is yacht certified, so whatever the captain's comfortable with having people on board, as long as everyone's got a life jacket, good to go. Nice beefy seat. Flip up bolster, depending if you like to stand or sit while underway. Two VHF radios for redundancy. Some more storage underneath. And then there's even a double power outlet when you got the generator going or if you're hooked up to shore power. Get that blender plugged in, get those nice frosty beverages. Our readouts show on 214. Nice Richie compass. And then you've also got Garmin's 741 XS color, touchscreen, GPS, and plotter, as well as depth. All the accessory switches within reach as well. Alright, some nice molded in steps. And the walkthrough windshield gets you up to the bow area. All non-skid pattern molded into it. See the remote operated anchor windlass up front. Controls there as well as at the helm. Securely mounted stainless steel grab rail all the way around. And then no holes in the bimini top. See the anchor lights operational. Let's go ahead and check out the cabin. Easy sliding door. Another two steps down. Nice wide beam carries forward. We've got our drop down dinette table, which serves as another sleeping berth. And then a nice size mid cabin. Currently used for storage space. But another two can sleep back here comfortably. Got some storage back there. AC controls, full breaker panel, as well as your main stereo head unit. All the upholstery looks nice with no tears or stains to note. You can see all the manuals nice and organized. Storage below this seat, and then the air conditioner under this one. 
our galleys to starboard. Refrigerator. Sink cover to create more counter space, as well as the stove top cover. Kenyon. And then a GE turntable microwave. The original TVs still installed in here. You can take that out for more storage. Or if you got any classic VHSs, able to watch that. Storage locker on this side. Wrap around seating. There's a removable table as well. It stows under this forward cushion. Then we've got a hanging locker over to port. Privacy curtains close off the forward sleeping area as well as the mid cabin. Waste bin storage under the step. And then nice size onboard head. Full length mirror in here. Simple foot pedal flush operation for the vacuum flush toilet. And then the faucet doubles as your shower head for rinsing off. Again, hot and cold water, 28 gallon capacity on it. Let's go ahead and open up the engine hatch, take a look inside. All right, nice clean looking motors. Again, these are Burr Cruiser's 4.3 liter EFI with digital ignition. Sweet spot cruise in the lower 20s with a top end of 45. Batteries and charger over on this side. Deck table storage under here. Always oh, nice to be able to have systems operational when not at the dock with the Kohler generator. Our meter on it's reading 107. Bilge is nice and dry, relatively clean. Take some time, check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com. And give me a call today with any specific questions. Look forward to meeting with you for a walkthrough tour. Let's get you out on the water, cruising, and having fun.